What's up, everybody? Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy. Today, I am coming at you with another podcast and video episode that's sharing some cool, sweet tips with you about engineering schools. So this comes from a list that U.S. News has put together. They've tried to detail what the top universities are for civil engineers. And so we go through that list, talk about how they're ranked or what which ones are ranked highest, and talk about each school that's there. There are about 12 that I go through, so we could call this the top 12 list, but they rank every school in some form or fashion. I get through the first 12, but then you know you could go look up your own school wherever you're at and see what it's ranked at, and it's just kind of a fun thing to do every once in a while. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. My own opinion about this stuff is that uh, you're going to pay a lot less if you can go to an in-state school. Uh, I, I think that would be your number one option to go check that out and uh, you know use the resources that you have available to you. I myself am from Utah so I used uh, University of Utah's program when I went to engineering and thought it was fantastic and later in this episode I look at the ranking of that and it's ranked something like 50 so you know that's that's great for me and um, so check out your own rankings in your own states see what makes sense to you but if you have scholarships or really want to go to a top engineering school uh, because that's your passion then go for it you know nothing to hold you back especially if you can get a scholarship for it so in today's episode we're going to talk about that it's going to be a good one just kind of a fun one to do and uh, we'll get right to it coming right up all right, guys, so let's go through these engineering school rankings. This is as ranked from U.S. News, so this is always an interesting list, and I've already shared my thoughts on going to school, but if you can go to one of these or you're in these states, then you might as well check them out. Um, and if you've got a scholarship of some sort, then maybe check them out too. So, you know, there's always options for you. But the number one ranked school in the United States, according to U.S. News, is University of California, Berkeley. So this was ranked as number one. It's actually tied for number one, which was with another school we'll talk about. But for University of California, Berkeley, you're looking at a tuition of approximately $11,000 per year, uh, probably eleven and a half. And uh, they're saying if you're out of state, it's about $26,500. So in-state's definitely cheaper. And uh, University of California, Berkeley, it's usually ranked one of the top schools. Um, you can get all kinds of degrees here, obviously, and uh, usually a master's degree typically takes about two years. You can also opt into an accelerated program, into their master's program, and graduate students can graduate in that in just one year. So they've got some options for you uh, for that school. So pretty cool stuff. Definitely go check it out if you are there. And if you you know if you have a scholarship or something or want to go there, go for it. Uh, the school that is tied for number one is University of Illinois Urbana Champaign, which is Urbana. Boy, I'm probably slaughtering these guys. I'm sorry. Uh, this is in Illinois. And this is a, a tied for number one. And I knew nothing about this school, but this school is ranked tied for number one in civil engineering programs. The tuition here is about $18,600 per year. And uh, that's for in-state tuition. For out-of-state tuition, you're looking at about $35,500. And I cannot believe how much school costs. Wow, that's crazy. Um, so yeah, it's a good school. Um, like I said, it's ranked um, tied for number one. So if you want to check out that school, it, it'll be good. It has a really good student to teacher ratio, which I think entices a lot of people when you need that attention. And uh, based on their rankings, that is tied for number one. Okay, next up for schools that are ranked, uh, it jumps to ranking of number three because we got two schools tied for number one. And number three is the Georgia Institute of Technology. So Georgia Institute of Technology, good job. Georgia Tech. Uh, tuition there, they've ranked at about $14,000 per year for in-state tuition. Uh, if you're out of state, it's about $29,000. And they have enrollments of about 4,200 students. So um, that's what's going on at Georgia Institute of Technology. Uh, ranked tied for number three is our next school, which is Stanford University. Uh, that's, you know, Stanford is always 
talked about as a great school. Tuition here you know is going to be expensive, but tuition at Stanford is going to be about $56,000 per year full time. And the enrollment there is about 3,400 students. So uh, Stanford is, is a good school. Uh, they've got a good program and they typically are always ranked very high in all of engineering aspects but for civil engineers it is ranked number three and if you can afford that tuition good good for you that's great uh, we got number five next because we had tie, two ties for number three so we're jumping to number five number five is the University of Texas Austin and this is uh, ranked number five um, which is awesome and the tuition here is about ten thousand five hundred dollars for in-state tuition and your per year cost if you're out of state is about nineteen thousand three hundred dollars and full-time enrollment for students there is two thousand seventy six so you get a little bit smaller school you get a school that's ranked very highly in austin texas and based on the tuition numbers uh... definitely more affordable so uh, if you're looking at a great engineering school, you probably want to check out University of Texas Austin as well. Now, according to the ranking, number six comes in with Purdue University in West Lafayette. Um, this is ranked as number six, and the tuition here is $10,300 for in-state tuition. And for out-of-state tuition, you're looking at about $29,000 uh, with an enrollment of 3,428 students. So a little bit smaller if you're in-state, you know, the tuition definitely um, makes more sense. Um, so uh, just reading a little bit about their university, they're saying that the College of Purdue University, West Lafayette, it has a rolling application deadline. So you've got to fill out your application to get into school. Um, like we already mentioned the pricing already and you're looking at basically a per credit cost of three hundred and twenty nine dollars and uh, you know that's the cost of school and their student to faculty ratio is five point seven to one so about six to one and uh, it's a good school so they got about four hundred full-time faculty on staff and uh, definitely a program to go check out if you live there for sure um, so that is number six Purdue University West Lafayette number seven comes in with Massachusetts Institute of Technology or MIT as you know it now you know the cost of this one's gonna be expensive this is in Cambridge Mass and uh, it's, it's a good school MIT is always ranked really high but in this case it's ranked number seven on our top ten list here tuition for this school is fifty three thousand four hundred and fifty dollars per year full-time quite a bit of money the enrollment cost is or the enrollment for how many students are there three thousand one hundred and thirty so that's kind of interesting um, let me see if there's any additional information on here that you think would be interesting student to teacher ratio is about five and a half to one as of 2019 um, it's a very popular destination obviously most people know about this as well and so they offer quite a bit of degrees there so good engineering school it's always ranked very highly in all of engineering aspects but for civil engineers the uh, US News has ranked MIT as number seven okay let's jump to number another number seven there was a tie here at the number seven spot the other number seven is University of Michigan Ann Arbor now this is in Michigan they've got a tuition rate for in-state cost of about twenty seven thousand two hundred dollars and an out-of-state cost of fifty one thousand one hundred and twenty six dollars with a full-time enrollment um, of three thousand two hundred forty seven students so another school that does cost quite a bit if you are out of state um, the student to faculty ratio here is about 4.6 to 1, so it's less. Um, so you probably get a better interaction with your professors there because that is lower. And they have all kinds of programs again. Um, and they have lots of other activities you can do on the school, is what they've mentioned here. Um, it's a good campus, very nice place. Anyway good good stuff there University of Michigan Ann Arbor 
ranked number seven. Okay, let's jump to number nine now because number seven was a tie for two spots. So now we got to jump to number nine. Number nine spot is the Virginia Tech. And this is a tuition of $13,700 for in-state. If you're out of state, it's going to be about $27,600. The enrollment is, is actually pretty low. You've got 1,881 students. So I imagine the student to a professor ratio is pretty good here. Yeah, student faculty ratio is 2.9 to 1. So you're getting a lot of hands-on attention if you go to Virginia Tech Engineering School. And uh, again, the in-state tuition is relatively low compared to others. Your out-of-state tuition is, uh, you know, it seems to be about average. So Virginia Tech. And hey, you know what? If you guys go to any of these schools, I'd like for you to leave me in the comments and let me know where you're going if you are attending these schools or you have attended these schools. And I'd love to know your own experience of attending these because that would be fun to share with other people. Um, let's jump to number 10. And number 10 on their list is Carnegie Mellon University. This is in Pittsburgh. Pennsylvania and this is ranked as number 10 there's actually two that were ranked as a tie here and so uh, there's you know we're not we're not gonna limit this just just the top 10 schools we're just gonna we could go to 20 if we wanted to and maybe I'll just touch on a few of them as we keep going but we got the Carnegie Mellon University so this is ranked as number 10 it was tied with another university as number 10 tuition here is quite expensive if you're a full-time student per year cost is forty eight thousand five hundred dollars and you also which is about a um, two thousand dollar credit per credit hour that's a lot and then enrollment here is, is a little higher you got four thousand one hundred and twelve students enrolled at Carnegie Mellon University and it's a good school so go check that one out now tied for number 10 is our Northwestern University uh, it's McCormick and uh, this is in Evanston, Illinois. This is tied for number 10. The, in the tuition for this, for a master's degree, is $56,000. Okay, that's a full-time student. That's a enrollment here is 1,910 uh, 1, people. So you get less students. I bet the student to ratio, uh, professor ratio is really good here. Let's go check that out. Uh, yeah, it's 4.6 to 1, so it's a little low, lower, some of the big schools. But they have less staff, so they got about 207 staff that, that go here. And they've got all kinds of different master's degrees. they got over 15 available. Uh, you can bike around lakes. You can do all kinds of stuff here. So there's plenty of stuff to do uh, at Northwestern University. The tuition is kind of expensive, but if you want to check that out, you definitely can. I got two more that I want to touch on. One is Cornell University. This was tied for number 12. Um, this university has a tuition of about $29,000. Um, and it's got an enrollment of 2,390 people. They've listed this as a tie for 12th spot because we had a tie for 10th. So you've got, uh, really we're talking about the top 12 schools. And that's in Ithaca, New York. So in-state tuition, if you're getting your master's, is $29,500. And they've got an enrollment per, uh, enrollment of about 2,400 students, and that's a good school as well. And the last school, which is tied for number 12, is University of California, Davis. This is also tied for number 12 with Cornell University. This school has a tuition of about, uh, well, $13,500. That's per year for in-state tuition. And out of state, you're going to pay about $29,000 for that. That is University of California Davis, and the enrollment there is only 1,208, so you get a little bit smaller group size there, but uh, definitely another school. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up. That's basically the top 12 universities for civil engineers to go get your degree. What do you think of the list? Do you agree with it? Do you not agree with it? If you've attended any of these universities, I would love to know your experience with them. Um, I've already shared my opinion about going to school and what you should be doing. I think that an in-state you know, college tuition is a cheaper deal for you, and you can probably find a really good program there. But if you have scholarships or something and you really want to go to a school like this, then don't, you know, don't, don't let that hold you back. Go out and get it. So 
hopefully this was interesting to you. It was interesting to me, and I think um, we all learned a little bit of uh, you know about these rankings. I think it was fun. Maybe I should list some others that might be notable um, on their list. Maybe this might be interesting to you. But some other notables, just throwing them out there based on their list. Um, this is just an alphabetical order, but you got Arizona State University. They were ranked 41. Auburn was ranked 71. BYU was ranked 94. Um, Clarkson University, 140. Clemson, number 72. Colorado School of Mines, number 59. And on and on. Duke University, number 23. Uh, Florida A&M, number 102. So just a, a huge mix of stuff. And we could load more and more and more if we wanted to. I am curious, though, because I went to the University of Utah. Okay, I did a quick search of my own school, which is the University of Utah, and it's ranked actually number 51 in the best civil engineering schools to go to. Its tuition for in-state in tuition is $8,165 per year. I think that's more than that, but because uh, I, I did go there. This is for a master's. And out-of-state is about $25,000, enrollment of 1254 So it does fall in line with some of the other schools. So I guess the point in checking that out is go check out the schools that are local to your own area first. I think that's going to be your best deal. But definitely go check out the rest of these. And if you want more information, you can go to usnews.com. Go check out the engineering schools that they have ranked. And it might be interesting for you to check out. So, guys, hopefully this helped you out. It definitely was enlightening to me. Kind of a fun one to look at and do. So, and like I said, leave me comments about the school you went to. And what do you think of this list? Tell me your experience. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.